Okay, so I'm gonna do some experiments to, to show you guys about the internal um, floating points. Um, so I have this sine wave with a peak at zero. Minus zero point zero. Reason I'm using sine wave because you can easily hear it's distorting uh, when I bring it up. It's so for example, if I play this and bring it up the volume, you can hear immediately it's distorting. Even if I bring up like 0 0.5, yeah, that's yeah. Let's put it at 3.0 so you can hear it start distorting. So I boost this from the track exactly um, three, and I lowered it from three from the master. There you go. So now you get no distortion. Menu hide hide make swap freeze bounce stage recall track new list new list new list duplicate list duplicate track. I'm gonna duplicate no this track like like nine, so I have a ten track. I'm gonna bring down the level so it's not crazy. You can clearly hear it's clipping like crazy. But I'm gonna bring it down the master fader. Yep, so now it's not clipping anymore. Um so you can clearly see, even though a bunch of things went over 0 dB on the track, if you simply lower the master fader, um, it will get rid of it. So let me go ahead and delete all this track that I created. Menu, so I can just go ahead and delete. Hide, make swap freeze, bounce, ellipsis, save track, recall track, new ellipsis, meaning ellipsis, ellipsis, duplicate ellipsis, split into model, delete ellipsis, delete ellipsis, split into delete ellipsis. Window, active clicks were found, delete button. Out. So I'm gonna put Design, the... Track, 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 Master fader in off. In at off. zero again. Zero point zero so, Sign up. but what's um, interesting is, so this track is actually clipping. Uh, I'm sorry, this master fader is clipping. Um, it's three point zero, clipping at three. So I'm just gonna export this, bounce this. Yes, bounce window. As so let's just press use the 24 bit. So I'm just going to call it sign sign 24 bit. Sign bit. So I'm just going to call it sign 24 fixed. Direct shoot slash offline cancel button. And offline cancel bounce button. Include the bounce button. Press bounce button. Mix colon flip. And I'm going to bounce another one. Yes, bounce at so I'm gonna call it sign 32 float. Sign 32 float edit text. Direct shoot slash off the bounce. Include video bounce button. Bounce. Press bounce button. Mix colon float text window. Tracks. And I'm gonna delete my original track. Menu pie. Hot mix for free. Commit bounce. Save track. Recall track. New ellipsis. Reading ellipsis. Match reading ellipsis. Duplicate ellipsis. Delete ellipsis. Okay. Window. And I'm gonna import. First, twenty-four fixed point one. Bring back. Remember, this one was I exported as a clipped version, so it was distorting. So if I play it, you will hear it distorting. Let me just even bring it from the track itself. You can still hear it's distorted. It's not sine wave anymore. Right? But I'm gonna delete this track. This time I'm gonna bring um, 32 floating points. One. Okay. So, so I brought the 32 floating one that I exported. As you heard, clipped. Um, so if I play it, you will still hear it as a clip it. Right, but but if bring if I bring down the thirty two float the track itself, not the master, uh, I'll bring down the volume so you'll hear. There you go, sine wave. If you export thirty two as a thirty two floating, but there is so much headroom in the thirty two floating point, it, the file itself is not actually clipped. 
um, it went above zero, but when you put it back and you can just simply bring down the volume and you will still have that. But if you export it at 24, uh, 24 bit fixed point and if you bring it back and no matter how low you bring down the volume, you will still have that distortion. Yeah, just for fun, I thought I'll, I'll show you guys um, for those of who might be curious about this. All right, bye.